Hello, Marlboro. Good morning. Today we are at a career expo being held at Apex Center. I'm here with some members of Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce and MEDC, and they'd like to tell me a little bit more about what's going on. Let's start with you, Rob Schlachter. What is happening here today? Well, this is a, a very exciting day because it's the first of its kind. Um, some milestones are that the Economic Development uh, Corporation and the Chamber of Commerce have come together through the School to Business Committee. And we've talked about this forever um, in terms of promoting all the phenomenal companies and industries that are in the region and how we could utilize our local talent with schools uh, in the area uh, to come in and actually see and explore all the different avenues they have as an alternative potentially to a four-year education. So this isn't a job fair necessarily where people are, are hiring and filling out job applications today. What sort of presentations are happening? Meredith, maybe you can tell me a little bit what's happening in these breakout rooms. Well, it's really neat. And, and you mentioned job fairs. So in years past, we used to do job fairs You know, every year. We started doing twice a year. Um, we kind of stopped doing that because we were having trouble getting folks through the door to come. We'd have companies lined up, and we wouldn't really have a lot of people coming in. Today, it's really kind of a unique um, thought and, and a way to do this. We're having students come in. They're going to different rooms where you have industry partners that are presenting to the students and explaining what they do for work and how they can get involved and the different jobs that are available in the different industries. So it's really kind of a little bit of learning, but also giving the kids an opportunity to um, network with the folks that are in these jobs and hiring folks. And these are all local businesses too. I think we even have uh, the city of Marlboro here being represented. Uh, can I put you both on the spot and, and let me know all the different groups that are here today? Maybe you can share, share the responsibility. We, we started with the hospitality group. Um, you have hotels, restaurants, even the Apex Center. We move into manufacturing, Ken's Food, Siemens Papers here. All of the banks have a, a bank uh, breakout. Then we have municipal where uh, the city, fire, uh, police, DPW are here. We have medical, and that's where UMass Memorial is here, uh, Artisan of Hudson is here. Everybody explaining uh, really interesting ways to get careers right in your backyard. And I didn't even mention that it's not just Marlboro High School that's here today. We have a whole bunch of other surrounding schools. What schools are, are visiting? AMSA. We have Westboro, we have Algonquin, we have Marlboro, we have Hudson. I think uh, I think that hits everybody. Yeah. If I leave it out, I apologize. But uh, the educators were over the top excited. And one of the things I will point out, the difference between this expo versus a fair is that all of the students have provided information potentially to the employers. So as opposed to a fair where you hope you get a resume, here the students have indicated what industries they're interested in, they supplied their information so the employers could follow up and contact them as they're getting ready to graduate. So is that sort of the goal at the end of the day, is that perhaps some of these employers will, will reach out to these students? What, what's sort of the end goal for attending an event like this for a, a high school student? Yeah, I mean, certainly. And the goal is to try, you know, when we go out and talk to companies, they're all struggling with finding folks to work right now. And so really trying to think critically about unique ways that we can connect people that are looking for work, young kids that are building the pipeline, that want to get into careers, and jobs that are in their backyard that they might not know about. So, you know, you can graduate from Marlboro High School and come and work at Ken's Foods and have a really great career and make a good amount of money. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what it's been like collaborating with Apex? I know we've had lots of different events here, and, and have they been welcoming? Absolutely. They always are. Yeah, this is a very unique location that has entertainment as well as very hospitable to businesses, and they've been a, a real uh, core venue for us at the Chamber. But i got to tell you, Meredith and I talk all the time about how the local businesses and the city can partner. This, I think, is a crowning example of how we can combine education, city, and chamber of commerce together to really be a benefit to the community. And we're, we're going to compete on the, the go-karts later, so. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, this looks like a huge success, so congratulations to everyone involved, and I look forward to covering this for many years to come, and it's going to happen again next year, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Annual. 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 First annual. So that's it. You're watching Marlboro Minute. Stay tuned. We have some excellent clips of some of these local presenters.